All right, y'all, welcome back to Come Arms channel. Okay, so today we are checking out a game trailer. Now we've checked out game trailers previously, but this one is a little different. This almost makes me want to go to like, you know, reacting to the tactical accuracy, but it's it's a video game and that's kind of what we're what we're checking out here. So this is Unrecord, pretty interesting title. Now, this is also from the perspective of a body-worn camera from a police officer, which I think also makes it more interesting. One, because, you know, everybody has seen body-worn camera footage from a police officer at some point. And I think it makes it a little bit easier to make it more believable because you're sort of seeing it through a filter where it's not as high quality. The frame rate isn't going to be like the same as what you see with your eyes. But in general, it still looks like really, really incredible. Um, now, I know Moist Critical did a video about these like sort of ultra-realistic shooters and how we're kind of seeing more and more. But yeah, it's gonna be really interesting in the future to see this popping up, um, especially if it starts turning into like, you know, VR kind of setup. Um, but yeah, I wanna check this out. I haven't seen this trailer in its entirety, but it looked pretty insane from what I saw. So let's do it. Oh my gosh. And I just I, at first we need to say like the level design, I don't know how comprehensive the level is, but like this graffiti in and of itself just looks like insanely realistic and kind of, I don't know, natural, I guess, <laughs> which is weird to say for graffiti. Okay, so you know what? I am gonna judge the accuracy here a little bit because again, it's trying to be believable. Um, if you're a police officer and you're rolling up to a scene like this, you're probably not going to be, so he's taking his magazine out and then he's putting it back in not sure why he's checking his magazine. Um, I mean, it should have bullets in it and he should know that even by the way it feels, should know that he has bullets in it. And f for the most part, as far as I'm aware, police officers pretty much always carry their weapon with a round in the chamber. So the fact that he's doing it right now, mm, kind of weird call, but sounds realistic. And the flashlight mechanics look also very, very solid. Now this guy is moving a little too quick. So for a one man kind of thing, okay. Some of those areas would probably, you know, creep me out a little bit cause they're kind of dead space behind it. You kind of have to clear that out too. But it makes it so much more spooky. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> and the sound design is like fantastic. Like you can hear him kind of like kicking over like what cinder blocks or something. Really spooky. And again, like it with the flashlight, it kind of drives your focus on that. But us as like the viewer can kind of also look around and still see that the, the map looks pretty solid. Okay, um, this dude is running like super fast. If somebody was running that fast, you would kind of hear, you would hear more of their body shifting, I, I guess. So that's why it's more of like horror movie-esque in that there's not a whole lot of sound. Shots fired, shots fired. Oh, hell no. I mean, okay, yeah, good communication. Um, and you know, you should be doing that. But first of all, yeah, running around corners. If you play Call of Duty, you don't run around corners, you know, unless you're trying to get smoke checked. Shots fired, shots fired. Oh, and <laughs> now I'm just breaking down the accuracy of this. Um, yeah, you don't wanna start, you don't wanna be finishing up a radio communication as you're kind of creeping back to the, uh, the fired. corner shots there. Shots fired, shots fired. Okay, damn. He's only got five rounds left? How many rounds did he shoot? Didn't somebody go that many. Bruh. Oh, they blurred it. Damn, that looks so freaking realistic. Like some of the mechanics look a little bit like you can kind of see through the veil a bit. But again, like the lighting just makes it so creepy. And the fact that you have people who are kind of running out of nowhere. I mean, that's like, again, if you've operated in a sort of tactical CQB, close quarter battle environment, you know, like things just, move around and, and shift so so fast so you are kind of reacting a lot of the time oh but i don't know why that dude decided to run out like he had the drop on him so how many bad guys are there oh dude 
Hell no, you just kicked that door. You better freaking stay out of that room. Oh. Yeah. And also, this is just another thing. Yeah, he can't see, but you also need to consider like light discipline because if they're in any one of these rooms, you could you could basically track this dude's movement based off of his flashlight. It'd be pretty pretty easy. Oh, this looks like airsoft footage right here. Oh, the other dude's got a flashlight now. What the fuck was that? Is that a drone? That hit very hard, what the heck? Dude, you are trying to catch around if you're just running this. Definitely not. How many bad guys are there? Cause... Dude, the, the sounds are like spot on. Let's see what this malfunction is. It looks like a double feed. Yeah, and then you can see he rips out the magazine and it kind of slings forward, um, which, you know, for the most part, if you drop the magazine, that round that's trying to go in as well, if it is like a double feed, two rounds trying to go into the chamber at the same time, um, if you take that magazine out, that other one will pretty much just fall out. And you can kind of see the slide goes forward after he drops the mag. So he's using like some SIG pistol thing. Okay, so he just did like a tactical reload. Um, so a tactical reload is basically when you might have some bullets, you, pr you will have some bullets left in the gun, um, but you're kind of moving into another area of a building. And before you do that, you wanna make sure you top off on your ammo so you don't have like, you don't shoot two rounds and then need to reload. So you're kind of just putting in a new source and you're retaining that other source. But here he's being engaged. He should absolutely just drop that magazine and speed reload that thing. Cause time is of the essence. <laughs> you don't do that when you're being engaged, that's for sure, you shouldn't. Okay, body mechanics are okay. Damn, yeah, the lighting is so freaking spot on. Just the detail on like the old metal and stuff too. This is a nightmare though, like if I had to do anything in this, I would take it extremely slow and doing it in one man, yeah. It's very unlikely you're gonna come out on top unless you're very trained and these guys are not. But again, just look at this. They could easily have the drop on you anywhere. Especially when you're that, when you're high up like this. Bruh, what is this guy doing? Why was he staying in there? Where the fuck is Oscar? What the heck, what happened there? Let's hear the voice acting. Where the fuck is Oscar? Uh, yeah, I mean, wasn't great, but <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Uh, it's not really about the voice acting, I guess. I don't know why this guy is still freaking just chilling in this room. Like, I'd be like, yo, can you come over and help me? Like, I get it. He's trying to like stay put, but especially when this dude is like antsy, you kind of want to give like a little bit of notice of where you are so he can kind of like understand that, okay, that's not a bad guy standing right there. Okay. I like how I went completely against my word saying I wasn't going to be like focusing on like the tactical accuracy. But again, like that's what it's trying to be. It's trying to be realistic and, and sort of accurate. And if you are trying to like envision this as a police officer kind of going into a room to take out some bad guys, probably gonna have some support. I know, it, you know, it's supposed to be a lone police officer kind of thing. Um, why is he wearing a body worn camera if he's kind of just chilling by himself? Uh, at this point, you're not really doing anything undercover if you're you know, doing like a body worn camera. So I don't really know what the premise is, um, but yeah, I would not go into a building when there's like four, five, six dudes against, you know, me, uh, especially in a freaking building like this, that is a nightmare. So yeah, um, the sound design was great. The detail was just like, again, spot on. It really puts you on edge because it looks so realistic. And you're just trying to picture like, okay, where would I be moving in this sort of terrain? How would I be moving? Um, especially when you start taking the, the you know, the fire and stuff. The, yeah, the, the gun mechanics in and of themselves were like, yeah, pretty freaking spot on. I also like the detail where he had the malfunction. Yeah, it does happen. You do see that a lot, which is a little bit concerning whenever I see police footage, like they always have a malfunction. And it's probably just because like, you know, their grip gets really jacked up and the, the weapon can't cycle properly. 
um, cause you know, stuff happens when your adrenaline's going crazy, but yeah, it, it is kind of cool how they added that and they had the mechanics all, all right. So yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's very interesting to see where this goes in the future. Like again, the body worn camera perspective is like a bit of a, an artistic touch, but you can imagine there's going to be general first person shooters trying to make this like almost like, you know, your actual eyes, which is going to be understandably a little bit more challenging, but it, yeah, it, it's super interesting to see where this is going. And it's going to be interesting to see how realistic these shooters actually get. Cause if we're talking about like actual bullet wounds and stuff might be kind of shocking for a lot of people, especially if you do like a headshot or something. Yeah. A lot of people would be like, yeah, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> this is kind of, it's kind of ruining the fun. <laughs> it's too real. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think should be like, I guess the limits of these realistic shooters but I think it's it's very cool, very artistic. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I'm all about it. It just makes it that much more immersive, especially if you can do it for like VR. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any other cool like trailers or video games to recommend as far as like them trying to be realistic, I'd like to check it out as well. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.